Hey guys, it's me Critical Cube, and in this video, I will be doing some LLC walkthrough solves and basically showing you how I approach LLC and my thought process during it. So, without further ado, let's get started. And the scrambles will be either in the video or in the description. And for all of these scrambles, I'll be doing the white and blue as my first block. And we start off with a six flip. Okay, this should be interesting. And there are two things to LC that you should always find out first uh, before you even start solving your LC case. The first thing is what case you have, how many flips you have. You can either have a two flip, four flip, or a six flip. When I saw the scramble, I saw that this was a six flip. So that is the first thing, how many uh, bad edges you have to flip. And the next thing is where are your UL and UR edges. So because I'm solving the blue and green as my uh, first and second block, I have to look out for the blue and yellow and the blue and green as my uh, LR edges and these two are here. Next there are two approaches to solving LC. You can either solve LC directly without doing anything to these two edges like trying to influence them or when you are a bit more advanced and you have the basic LC moves in your muscle memory you can start influencing your LR edges at the same time. For these walkthrough solves I will be trying to influence my LR edges wherever I can. And a quick disclaimer is that I don't use EOLR, so you won't see me doing EOLRs, but I do know some intuitive tricks here and there which can sort of influence my LRGs while I'm solving the LC case. So enough talk, let us start with this case. So here I have the six flip case and my LRGs are in here. And I know that when I have one of the LR edges on the U layer and one in the D layer, when I have the six flip case, I generally keep them on top of each other like this. And then I start my general six flip solution, which is M prime, U prime, M prime, U prime, M, U prime, M prime. And because I did that, I know I will have the good arrow case. And the good arrow case is this arrow case where you can sort of simultaneously solve the arrow case and also put the UL and UR edges to the D layer, which in here I can do like that. And that was a really nice way of influencing your LR edges while not doing anything like crazy. Generally when I get the six flip solution, I generally prefer doing this algorithm only because it is a really fast trigger and I don't have to think much about what to do, how to influence and all that. So the only thing I did to sort of learn influencing these edges was to put the LR edges in different positions and see how my alg was affecting the position of these pieces. This is the same case I set up in under cube and if I were to do my normal algorithm from that angle right I get a really bad arrow case where only one of the LR edges goes to D layer once I'm done with my uh, six loop algorithm and then I have to put the other one manually like this. And the only way to bypass it is to keep both of your uh, LRHS on top of each other like this and then do the algorithm. And you can also do the same thing when you have the LRHS at the back, you just have to use M moves instead of M prime moves. But this is how we end up, we have solved our six flip case and also put the LRHS in the D layer. So now we just match the blues with the greens like this and then solve the 4C case. Now I should also mention the other way you can solve 6 flips is to keep both of your edges adjacent like this and keep them in these two positions. The normal algorithm I use will also simultaneously solve both the LR edges as you solve the bad edges and good edges. This is the next scramble and this is actually really straightforward because I have 3 edges in here and this is a good edge meaning the other bad edge has to be at the back and these two are my LR edges so this you cannot do much influencing you can just you only have to straightforwardly solve it like that. And here green, sorry, blues and greens and then this is matching here. So I know that this will solve at the back so I only have to insert this in the front like that. Okay, this is the next case and in this case we have a two flip case because one bad edge is here and I do not see the other bad edge anywhere so it has to be at the back and the other edges are in here. And this is not really that good of a case because I don't have a decent enough way of influencing this. So whenever I get the two flip case like this, I usually have two slash three approaches of uh, solving them. When the edges in here, I can either do this to get the arrow case, right? Arrow case from the back, or I can also do this to get the arrow case. Or otherwise what I also do is keep the edges opposite like this, right? And then I can do something like this to get the arrow case. But seeing that my LR edges are in here, I know that doing this won't give me a good enough arrow case and doing this also will not give me a good arrow case because this goes to the back so it will just come to the front like this and then green will pop up to the U layer which I don't want. So the only thing that I will do is just from this angle simply do M prime U prime M prime. This is here, this is at the back. Insert this case to the back right like this and then this to the front like that and then I have the 
for C case to solve. So for this case, I do not really have that good of a way of influencing the edges, but the solution is pretty fast. Something like that, I would solve it. So even though the solution is not as much efficient as I want it to be, the execution for me will still be pretty fast to get a decent enough time. This is the next scramble, and we have the two flip case once more, and the edges are right in front of me in here, and the other edges is here and here. I again have a couple of approaches to solve this, and I don't have a good enough way of influencing these two edges so that I can set up a direct uh, good arrow. But what I can do here is to flip this edge right, like this. And now I can see the rest of my uh, LSE pretty well. So the moment I saw this case and I saw that one of the good edges was in the U layer, right? From this instant, I knew what I had to do next and the rest of the LSE would be pauseless. Something like that. So even though the execution is not the most optimal way of solving, the solution for me would still be pretty fast. Okay, this is the next scramble, and this is again a six flip case. But fortunately here, we have both of the edges on the U layer. And this is good because the way I approach this, the UL and UR edges will solve directly from these two positions. So I'll do my normal algorithm, right? And you see I have the good arrow case, so they will be solved directly. In this position, I don't want to do the M prime because I see, okay, greens and greens in here. So I'll cancel into the uh, M in here. Green, blue, I know that I have to do the M2, U2, M2 case. So instead of doing a U prime and then again doing U2, which is sort of pointless, I'll just do a U and then doing do the M2, U2, M2 uh, case. So once more, these two here, put them in here where I can solve these two cases directly like this. And then I see green and then green in here, so cancel. But AUFing properly here is sort of pointless. So I'll just uh, match them offsets like this and then do the M2U to M2 case for solving your LC. This is the next case, and in this case we have the direct arrow case, and the UL and UR edges are in here and here. The way I will solve this is just straightforward. I'll just start solving straightforwardly like this. Green, blue at the back, solve like this, and then solve my 4C case. And I'll just quickly explain how I see the 4C case. So from here again, and from here I see that this is red. And when I do the U move like this, I also have the red in here. So meaning these two will be opposites in here. So red will be here and the orange will be at the back. So when I do the M prime U to M prime, the red and orange combo will come to the front. And this will be at the back because I have to do the U move for matching up like this. So now this is also uh, improperly set up and this is also improperly set up. So for setting these two up properly, I'll just simply get them on the U layer like this, switch them around and then everything is proper now and everything is solved. So I use a bit of intuition uh, for solving these type of cases. And another thing that you can do in this case is to sort of set up into the uh, misoriented centers case. So here I see that one of the LR edges is in here, right? And for the misoriented centers case, you need the LR, other LR edge to be in this position. So I need this edge to be in this position. So what do you do? Well, because I come from a CFAR background, the most simple thing that I can do is to simply start with the UPUM, MUU perm. And here instead of doing the M2, I just simply want to do an M prime because doing the M prime will keep both of the edges in the D layer. Otherwise, if you were to do an M2, then you have to do an M again, which is sort of pointless. And now I have both the uh, UL and UR edges in the D layer like this. We don't have the white or yellow in the U layer. Everything is still solved because you have the red center in here, meaning the edges have to be either red or orange which we have here. So now you can just simply solve the rest as you would do normally. But the only thing now is recognition. And when I get this case right, I again use a bit of intuition. So from this position, I see orange is in here, red is in here, but currently the red is matching. However, when I do the M2, then orange will be matching. And I have the uh, yellow in here, meaning the white will be at the back. So I can do U prime and solve this uh, block at the back so that white is matching with white and orange is matching with orange. And now I only have to insert the red and I will be done. It may seem like I'm doing a lot of calculations, but these sort of calculations are muscle memory now. So in a real solve, uh, this will still be really fast. This is the next case. And then here also we have the four flip case, but now all of the four edges are in the U layer. And we also have the LR edges in the U layer like this. And when you have the LR edges like this, opposite from each other, right? You always want to keep them on the M slice like this, like we have in here because now we can solve it using the misoriented centers. M prime to M prime will set one of the edges in the D layer and other one will be the U layer like this. So now we have the misoriented centers set up M U prime M2 
like this and the orange is at the bottom, red is in here, so I can just simply solve like that. With misoriented centers, this case becomes really easy to solve, but if you do not want to use misoriented centers, you can just set up your LRHS on the sides like this and then do your straightforward solving. Like that. The straightforward approach is also quite fast to solve.